importing user-defined fields and codes, as well as supporting multiple scheduling, earn value, risk, and cost estimating tools. Fuse also fully supports the direct importing of user-defined fields and code fields. Both of these types of fields are actually very, very useful when it comes to slicing and dicing projects during the analytics phase. When a project is imported into Fuse, all of the standard fields are imported through the data dictionary definition. In addition, all defined code fields are also automatically imported into the Fuse workbook. So for example, with our sample Primavera file here, if I were to scroll over through the, the activity table, I can see that code fields such as location, contractor, phase, cost account manager, etc. have all automatically been brought in to my Fuse workbook during the import. Optionally, user-defined fields can also be automatically imported into a workbook. This feature is enabled through the Fuse options window. As you can see here, under field mapping, we can define whether code fields and or user-defined fields are automatically brought in during an import. In addition to the automatic importing of user-defined and code fields, Fuse also provides a means for doing what we call manual mapping. Manual field mapping is managed under the Fields tab in the top right corner of the product. Fields that have already been imported into a Fuse workbook are shown in the table and highlighted in the yellow column called Fuse Fields. If we scroll down here, we can see, for example, code fields, again, location, contractor phase, cost account manager, that have already been imported into the Fuse workbook. Now, additionally, as a user, if I want to manually map or manually import additional codes or user-defined fields, it's very straightforward. I simply click on the, the user-defined or the code fields tab. In this case, let's take user-defined fields and to map a field into my workbook, all I do is drag drop the field in question into the workbook. Now, from this point forward, on any subsequent import into the workbook, these newly added and newly mapped fields will automatically show up as data elements ready for analysis. So if we go back to the Projects tab, we'll update our import and if we now scroll through the spreadsheet, we now see our P50 cost and P80 cost, the two new fields that we brought in and manually mapped in the fields view. From this point forward, I can then go into the analysis view and not only run my fuse analysis, but slice and dice using any of those newly imported code fields and or user-defined fields that we just saw earlier.